Hi guys, welcome back. It's Professor Hank, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create enumerated data types in your C++ programs. So an enumerated data type is a type of abstract data type, which is made up of these things called enumerators. So enumerators are named integers, basically. They're almost kind of like named constants that are grouped together in a scope that then can be assigned to variables of a specific type of the enumerated data type. So I'll show you how to define them. I'll show you how to create variables of that type. I'll show you how to assign values to them. I'll show you how to use them with loops and arrays. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've got Visual Studio ready to go. And the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create our enumerated data type. Now to do so, this is going to require keyword enum, okay? So we'll have that keyword, and then we'll have an identifier, a name for our type. So I will name this type day, and then I'll have curly braces, which I will include inside those curly braces, my enumerators, okay? So those enumerators for this example are gonna be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? So this is our enumerated data type with five enumerators, all right? Now, let's go ahead and create, define a variable of type day, okay? So we'll say day D. Now, what can I assign to day D? I can assign any of my enumerators, okay? So maybe I'll even change this from D to today. So what's today? Today is Wednesday, right? So enumerators are great in that they can make your code more expressive. This is one way of doing it, okay? I mean, we could just as easily have you know maybe named constant or something like that but this is maybe a more precise way of expressing your idea today is wednesday all right now let's see what happens if we let me make this a little smaller if we print out the contents of today okay what does today equal now what do you think it's going to say you think it's going to say wednesday well we will find out, okay? See if it's what you expect. Where's the wed? It says today equals two, it doesn't say wed. Why is that? Because enumerators are like constant integers. In memory, they are represented with the values zero, one, two, three, and so on. So the compiler will make Monday we start off with zero, okay, for no, no matter what type, no matter what enumerator you use, right? I mean, or, or no matter what enumerated type you, ma you make, right? That list, that list of enumerators, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, in this case, is gonna start with zero. And then the second enumerator in that list is gonna be one. The third is gonna be two. The fourth is gonna be three. And the last one will be Friday, right? Or uh, four, Friday will be four. So if we had more enumerators, then it would continue on. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, whatever. In this example, we have five enumerators. So we've got five values, and those values are zero through four integers. Okay, so that is why you see today equals two, because in memory, wed is two. Okay, so now if that's the case, then that should mean that we can do something like this, right? Can't we do today equals two? No, okay. Um, you can assign to an enumerated type, one of its enumerators. Okay, so I can assign Wednesday because Wednesday is one of its enumerators. Even though it represents two or it's represented by two, I can't assign two because two is a different data type. Two is an integer. Wednesday is a day. So I can assign Wednesday to day. Two is an integer. I can't assign an integer to a day. They're different data types, okay? Now, let me show you another thing. 
Okay, we can send to C out one of the enumerators just to make this more confusing for you. Okay, and we're going to see three on the screen for Thursday because that three, that integer, is what is in memory for um, Thursday, for Thu, right? Okay, now I can even do something like this. I can say Thu plus two. Okay, that is a legal valid expression. Okay, now what's Thu plus two evaluate to? Well, in memory, Thu Thursday is three. So three plus two is five. Okay, now can we assign that five to today? No, because a day plus an integer gives you an integer. And remember, integers can't be assigned to an enumerated type, such as day, okay? Um, be just It would be similar to doing something like this, okay? Integers can't be assigned to enumerated types, okay? But I could do something like this. I could say Wednesday plus Thursday. Can I do that? The answer is still no. I mean, I can do it, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take an extra step here in a second. Why can't I do it just like this? Because what's Wednesday? Two. What's Thursday? Three. Two plus three is five. Okay. So an integer plus an integer is an integer. An enumerator plus an integer is an integer. And an enumerator plus an enumerator is an integer. And you can't assign integers directly to enumerated types. But what I can do is I can cast that integer into a day, all right? And if I do that, then everything's gonna work just fine, okay? Because this integer result is treated as a day, and I can then assign that today to today, okay? So then I can print out today, all right? Today equals today. Okay, and we're gonna see what? We're gonna see, uh, what, I think five, right? Yeah, five, because three plus two is five. Wednesday is represented by two. Thursday is represented by three. Three plus two is five. That was assigned to today because we told it that five was a day, even though there isn't an, an enumerator in here that represents five, it's still legal. Okay, so what if we wanted to iterate through all of the enumerators. Okay, we could do something like this for day D equals Monday. Okay, totally fine. We initialized a variable day with one of its enumerators. Not a problem. Okay, I can even do something like this. Day D less than or equal to fry. Okay, I'm comparing a day D with one of its enumerators. I can do that with one of the enumerators of day. Totally fine, totally syntactically correct, totally logical. Okay, now you might be thinking, oh, well, it's a for loop, the next thing I have to do is something like D++. Should work, right? Wrong. Why? Because you have to remember what D++ means. It equals, or it means D equals D plus one. Okay, so what's D? It's a day. What's one? It's an integer. Day plus an integer is an integer. Are we allowed to assign integers to a variable of type D or type day? No, right? Remember, you cannot assign an integer to an enumerated data type. So what do we do? We're just gonna do our casting trick. So we'll do something like this. Static cast day, okay? And we will cast the result of that addition as a day, so that will allow us then to update our D variable, okay? Now, let's go ahead and do a C out, and we will look at the integer representation of each of the days. Okay, zero, one, two, three, four. Because remember, the integers start at zero for each of the enumerated 
for, for each of the enumerators, right? Monday starts with zero, then Tuesday is one, then Wednesday is two, then Thursday is three, and so on. All right, so now let's take a look at how we can use these with arrays to make our code more readable, okay? More, um, more precise, okay? So let us say that we had an array called sales, okay? So in this array, it was going to store the sales for each of the business days of a week. Okay, so we might do something like this. We might say, um, sales five, right? Because there's five days in the work week, I guess. I don't know, Monday through Friday. Okay, we're only open Monday through Friday. Okay, now what we can do is, is we can do something like this. We can say sales for Monday, because remember, what's Monday in memory, internally? It's represented by, or is associated with, zero. So when we say sales of month, it's like we're saying sales of zero. Now, which is more descriptive? Sales for Monday or sales of zero, right? You look at sales of zero, you're like, uh, I don't know. But if you look at sales of month, you know that this is going to be storing the sales for a Monday. This is something that is very useful um, and a great motivator for using enumerated data types. So I might put in for Monday that the sales were, I don't know, $99.95. And then for uh, Tuesday, maybe the sales were better, $493.76 and so on. Right? So sales for Wednesday, we'll say $175.33. Sales for Thursday, $225.13. And then sales for Friday, we're booming and we did uh, $1,027.66, okay? So a lot more descriptive, okay? Easier to read our code, which is good, which is always good. You should always strive to make your code more legible, more readable. And good code, if you use good identifiers, right? Good names for your variables, good names for your classes, good names for your enumerated data types, your code can almost read like a story, okay? So consider, you know, what I wrote here, if instead we'd wrote something like this. Um, D zero equals 99.95, okay? Which is more obvious? Which is more legible? Which is easier to follow? Double D5, D0, 99.95, what, what does this even represent? Okay, without comments, you're gonna be kinda of lost. But by using this more descriptive identifiers, these more descriptive identifiers, it's a lot easier to read the code and know what's going on. Okay, so now what we can do is we can say something like, um, see out the sales for the week were, okay, then we'll just use our little loop. So we'll say for uh, day D, equals Monday again, D less than or equal to Friday, because we're going to go Monday through Friday, D equals static cast day, D plus one. And then we'll print out the sales. So we can say, see out, um, we'll just say, see out um, sales of D. Okay. And then we'll Move our cursor and I should move our cursor after this one too to the next line okay so now if you take a look at this little snippet of code here it becomes very descriptive you know as I was saying we have good identifiers for our array we've got our enumerator data type day and so we can use its enumerators to make our code easier to read and then for our loop we can say, oh, well, we're gonna go from Monday through Friday, printing out the sales for each one of those days, okay? And actually, this might even be better to say day, day, right? Um, day, and then we'll say day. So that way, I was just talking about making this more descriptive, right? So the sales for the day, right? Now let's go ahead and run it. And then we should see our prices. Right, and it kind of wraps around because I put it all on one line. Maybe I should have put it on separate lines. I'll do that so that way it's easier to see. 
and then we will be done. Okay, so let's try that one more time. So yeah, there you go. So it's a little bit easier to see. So yeah, there you go. Those are your enumerated types. And um, you know, one more thing before I forget. You can, uh, I almost forgot to mention, you can override this numbering system, right? So you could do something like this. You could say uh, mun equals uh, two, for example. And then the counting will start with two. So Monday would be two, Tuesday would be three, Wednesday would be four, Thursday would be five, Friday would be six, okay? Um, so you can override that default numbering scheme that, um, that uh, the compiler is gonna try to use, that C++ is gonna try to use, okay? All right, so that is everything that I have for you today. If you're a student of mine and you have any questions about that, please feel free to shoot me an email, stop by my office hours, hit me up on Zoom. For everybody else, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you've got that thumbs down uh, button as well. Please consider supporting the channel in various ways. We've got paid memberships with additional perks for as little as 99 cents a month. There's super thanks. You can subscribe, leave a comment, hit that bell so that way you'll know when uh, new videos are posted for the channel. Okay, but most of all, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.